It is exactly 10 days since Isli area was placed under partial lockdown with movements in and out of this bustling neighborhood suspended. But Isli is now the home of a secret operation that is likely to raise eyebrows in government. This building located at the heart of Isli boasts of numerous shops, but they are all shut. We however notice a few people making their way in up to the fifth floor. Their destination, door number 15. They are here to get services from the Somalia Embassy in Kenya, which is said to be organizing evacuation trips back home. But before they get the green light to leave, they have to undertake a COVID-19 test. 13 tested positive yesterday, according to these leaked documents from the embassy. The documents show the alarming trend of those who have tested positive. This 14-year-old male tested positive for COVID-19 in the final result posted on the 15th of this month. This 32-year-old female tested positive for the virus according to this final result posted on the same date. The eldest among them is this 58-year-old female who tested positive in this final result posted on the 14th of this month. Pathologists at Lancet Kenya have confirmed testing for the Somalia embassy, having sampled over 200 people in the last five days. According to the COVID-19 results issued by the Ministry of Health on Sunday, two people from Isli tested positive, but none was reported today, showing that the embassy could be conducting tests and not notifying the government of the results. But there is no secrecy, and believe you me, the results that we sent to the government, I can tell you for a fact, because once they compile the report, they share with all of us. It is accurate. Kalebi says the high number of infections in Isli may be a result of an old tradition which served the community well, but may now be aiding the spread. You know, you eat together on the same plate, yeah, you will sit in Baraza, Barazani Mnongea. People tend to mingle together so much. So I'm not surprised that uh, the number of people who are positive from amongst the cohort that we are testing to go to uh, Somalia through the Somalia embassy are actually positive and that's consistent with the pattern we are seeing. The government is yet to say whether they have been notified of the testing going on in Isli, but the developments has raised many questions that will be begging for answers in the coming days. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.